Welcome to Once Upon a Crime, stories from the under the belly of faraway land, where not every story has a happily ever after. Tonight, scandal, crime, gossip, and the weather. I'm Ayan. And I'm Manaraj. Our first story. Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? The famous villain is huffing and puffing after being arrested today, accused by the three little pigs of purposely breathing heavily on their houses until they fell down. A lawyer for Mr. Wolf claims hay fever is to blame and that his client is a victim of negative media hype. Here's a reporter Sahib with more. I'm here in the faraway jail with the big bad wolf and his lawyer. Mr. Wolf, you've been caught destructions with the houses. What do you have to say? What do you say about these accusations? I don't really care. I still have a lot of money to buy my Jordan ones. You've been caught impersonating both a grandmother and a child. What do you have to say about it? I mean, who is the big bad wolf, really? I might be anyone, not just a wolf. I'm actually SpongeBob. What do you have to say to the f good people in the faraway land? And they think just nothing, but you're just a dangerous criminal. I'm actually not dangerous. The grandma was too old. The pig's house was too old. What would you like to say, lawyer? The big bad wolf is innocent. He's done nothing wrong. Hmm. Okay. Thank you for your <laughs> thank you for your thoughts, Mr. Wolf and lawyer. Good luck with your trial. Back to the studios. Now for news of escaped kidnapped heroes, Hansel and Gretel. Their story captured the hearts of the nation and caused a media frenzy last year. They have spoken out for the first time about their ordeal in their new book, Blackbirds Ate Our Bread Crumbs, The Hansel and Gretel Story. Our reporter Sonia was at the book releases in the deep for dark forest, the scene of their terrible tale. Hello, I'm Sonia and with me I have Hansel and Gretel. You're obviously very rich now. Having found the jewels from the old witch's house, how do you plan on spending the money? I plan to move far, far away. I plan to buy a new house and donate the rest to charity. Hunter, you're obviously in a great shape after being fattened and from eating. How did you do it? Uh, I went to the gym and got help. <laughs> and finally, what have you guys learned through this experience? I have learned not to wander into gingerbread houses. I have learnt who to trust and who not to trust. Well, thank you for your time um, and good luck with your ongoing recovery. Back to the studio. Finally, there's a wicked whisper in the woods that all is not well with the marriage of celebrity couple Beauty and the Beast. After failed plans to start a fashion line and poor sales of their album of duets, sources are saying that happily ever after might not last much longer. We go now to our reporter, Amelia. Thanks, Ayan, and hello, everyone. I'm Amelia here in the beautiful mansion of Beauty and the Beast, and hugs and kisses to you both. Now, yours was a classic love story where two opposites fell in love against the odds. How's it going with you two? Terrible. She won't. It's going great. We're really enjoying the new lifestyle. So, you're something of a beauty beauty, and you're a total beast beast. What's the reality of living with someone who's completely different to you? Strange and really weird. I just wish she was the beast as well. We're learning to live with our differences. Your recent Dewey album did not sell well and your fashion label has gone a bu fashion label has gone a bust. What's next for you two love birds? Yeah, that didn't work out. We're thinking of trying again. We'd we'll like to show you a demonstration if you want. Just kidding. Our next goal is to do a fashion label called Beauty. Thanks for your time, Beauty and the Beast. We wish you the best for the future. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Amelia. Now it's time for a faraway land weather update with Ruben and Ariana, who will have the fierce weather of them all this week. Well, it will be a mix of fear and foul in the faraway kingdom this week. North, 
In the north there will be gumdrops, lollipops and rainbows for everybody. The sun will shine and birds will sing from your shoulders until Tuesday. The deep dark forest will be deep and dark for all week, with occasional sunny spells and some witchy spells. Moving down the land, the green fields will be turned to snow white overnight on Wednesday. Wrap up warm if you're living in a house made of sticks, straw or gingerbread, because it will be fee fi fo freezing Finally, trolls living under bridges might want to find a beanstalk to climb up on Friday. Heavy rain will lead to flooding. Otherwise, it is a happy end of the week for some of us. That's all for tonight, although we've just had word that Big Bad Wolf has escaped jail since our interview. He's hungry, angry and on the prowl. Keep your doors locked. Stay safe from the whole team at Once Upon a Crime. Good, Good night. night. Let's go. <laughs> no, so, so, this is the camera. Let's go. Yeah, I can drop. <laughs> go. <laughs>